wanted to use the opportunity while I have a bra on, my makeup done and my hair done. As I'm sure many of you already know, this was not the way to do it. So on this table I have problems with Hi guys and welcome to my channel and my very messy echoey she shed. Uh, it's coming along but uh, right now it's a mess. Uh, but I thought that today I would show you how my the furniture that I painted turned out. Um, so it's a short and sweet one and I hope you enjoy. You say take me on a treasure hunt When they sing and dance Oh, I wish it was me Every night When I close my eyes I see I have problems with the paint going through the white paint. My grandfather was uh, <laughs> uh, a kind of uh, guy with a lot of ideas and what I think he has done is I think he has used his paint and some oil or something and blended his own, own uh, varnish or paint to cover this piece and when I paint it the colors seep through so what I've done is I've uh, taken this um, varnish that I use over the spots on the shiplap I don't know the English word uh, and I hope that will seal it and I'll try to paint over it so hopefully hopefully that will work wanted to do something about the seats of the chairs um, and again I am not an expert on repolstering furniture so if you are you probably be probably should look away right now <laughs> because this is probably going to hurt to look at uh, if I if this wasn't from my family I probably would take off the old fabric because it's really dirty so dirty that I don't want to show you but it's my family dirt and it's okay for me I I I couldn't be bothered it's a lot more work if I take off I also have to recushion the yeah it, it's a lot more work but I do it very simple I bought and this is a fabric that's uh, meant for furniture I bought this stapling uh, gun or machine uh, it didn't cost much uh, and a lot of staples um, and I do it really easy I have cut this two size and I give myself a lot of extra length uh, I just think it's easier that way and I just staple away not all the way up into the corners right away I do that later um, and then 
I do the same on all, all four sides and for the tricky part at the end I do the corners and uh, yeah I'll show you okay so that's all my sides done and now for the tricky part the corners and what I'll do is that I'll just cut off some of the extra fabric like that and then I just pull watching that I don't get any wrinkles and it's not easy like that and again I'm sure you are crying now if this is something you are good at and I probably should have been watching a tutorial before I did this but I didn't I just stapled away uh, and when the cushion is on the chair you will not it looks great like that so I'll do the same for all four corners of course so that is my cushion all done as you see from the front it looks okay it as I said <laughs> it's not perfectly done I have some crinkles or whatever you call them uh, in the corners but for my she shed it's more than good enough uh, of course if this was some furniture I was to have in my house I would do them beautiful and like this uh, for my she shed uh, which I'm doing in a kind of, uh, I think, my own take on bohemian uh, style. Uh, I wanted to do something fun, so I bought these, these, uh, um, are they called uh, stencils? Um, yeah, stencils in what for me is a kind of boho uh, pattern uh, the piece mark and a bigger one called where it says love uh, life with a butterfly and i bought some textile paint in uh, and this is a kind of a vintage uh, it's a it's this package uh, it, supposed to be vintage colors uh, a pink a green blue uh, lilac black and white so i've chosen to go with the pink the purple or the lilac and the green and i'll do i have six chairs so i will do uh, one of these in each color and one of this in each color and what i'll do is just stencil this on the seats I know this may look uh, desperate or crazy to some of you uh, but it's this is the the this is the textile is easily removed uh, if I get bored of it or if I want to find share somewhere else I can just take it off um, I tried it and I thought it was uh, cute it's not easy to do uh, and of course I <coughs> had some uh, this I have to take off and do again uh, it's this so uh, yeah it I probably should have tried it on something else before I did it directly on the chair but yeah you 
Live and learn. As I'm sure many of you already know, this was not the way to do it. Of course, you should stencil uh, the pattern on the fabric before you lay it on the cushion. Uh, my husband knew, I did not know, but uh, so uh, this was kind of a fail. The peace signs were okay. Um, but the other pattern uh, did not come out as good but okay it is what it is uh, i hadn't done this before so uh, i'll just have to live with it as it is now and here is the final result i know that i've said that this room is going to be a room in a boho style and i know that it doesn't look boho yet but i promise you or at least i hope that it will when it's finished but these are the chairs i paint i i did uh one piece sign and one of this stencil in each color pink green and purple and here's the other chairs if i was going for a more stylish uh, in a more a stylish way <laughs> i would have done it in a maybe pink or no, white or gold or a more neutral color but um, as you will see when it go comes together uh, I hope it will fit as you see the there's a bit of pink in the table still but I'm sure that this table is going to be used a lot and be worn and torn again so I don't mind uh, as you see we have this I don't know what this is called in English but it's two loose uh, parts to make the table larger I will leave those in permanently because I often use I I am in use of a big table when I do crafts so I'll just leave it as it is uh, and with the dining room set as I've used here we also have this and I don't know the English word for this but it's a kind of a cabinet um, so I painted that white as well these will hold my crafting supplies uh, this is pretty big and then there's this small one so that is how the furniture turned out of course I'm going to style it I'm going to have a carpet and I'll make a lamp over the table and there's a lot uh, to be done yet but I just wanted to show you the furniture
she shed furniture. Uh, I hope you like this. Um, I know that this is not to everybody's taste and I have a challenge in this room. Um, I This is uh, first and foremost going to be a crafting room. So um, I cannot make it so stylish and beautiful that I'll be afraid to use it. Uh, I'm going to do crafts here and uh, I have to be able to kind of mess around with the paint and everything. And I think that if I did the room in too soft color palette and uh, only whites and cream as I love, um, I think I would be afraid to use it the way it's supposed to be used. So instead I'm trying to go for a more fun and kind of uh, uh, easy style. Um, I'm not succeeding very well because uh, when I go on Pinterest I love the the light boho style with all the whites and creams and um, textiles and yeah you know uh, I'm sure you have seen uh, what I'm talking about but that's the uh, thinking behind I if I want a more stylish uh, uh, piece later I can all, always just remove uh, what I've done on the chairs and do it again. So uh, I'm sure it's going to come together when I get the carpet and everything set up. Okay guys, uh, I have to thank you for all the comments on my April vlog. You guys are the kindest and cutest uh, bunch of people. Uh, I had so many great comments and thank you so much for sharing uh, and sharing your uh, experience with the big M as uh, some of you called it, menopause. Um, it was really helpful uh, and I think was it, I'm not going to say a name in case I say it wrong, but one lady said that uh, growing old is a uh, mind over matter. If you don't mind, it doesn't matter. And I thought that was the greatest saying and I loved it. Uh, so thank you. And thank you for all, for all the love and support you always give me. I, I hope you know how much it means. Okay guys, I have to work away on this room uh, and I'll get a new video out as soon as I can. I think I'll try to do it like this. Instead do short videos and try to come on more often and have some long in between. Yeah. Okay guys, stay safe, wash your hands. Uh, uh, remember we're not safe until we have a vaccine. Uh, so keep, uh, keep keeping safe, keep on keeping safe uh, and hopefully I'll see you again for my next video. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful week. Bye guys!